Hello, my name is Paromatic, and in this tutorial we are going to explore the Facebook application called Photos. To begin, I'll click on the Photos tab. Notice there is only one album and that the name of that album is Profile Pictures. This is a special album in that every picture you wish to use as a profile picture resides in this album. Let's click on the album. Doing so reveals thumbnails of all the photos in the album. To change or edit your profile picture, click on the Change Profile Picture link. Notice Candace's current profile picture is displayed on the left. One option you have for changing your profile picture is to use your webcam to take the picture. To do so, click on the Show Camera button. In addition, you can change your profile picture by uploading an existing photo. Moving on, when you make posts on other people's walls, a thumbnail of your profile picture is used. Sometimes, Facebook incorrectly centers these thumbnail pictures. You can adjust your thumbnail by left-clicking with your mouse and dragging the thumbnail picture to where you want it. To make your changes stick, click on the Save Thumbnail Version button. You can remove your profile picture at any time by clicking on the Remove Picture button. Let's navigate back to Candace's profile by clicking on the Profile button. Next, let's investigate how to create a photo album. To begin, click on the Photos tab. From here, click on the Create a Photo Album button. The only field that has to be filled out on this page is the Album Name field. To speed things up, I copied the album name to my clipboard, so what I'll do is right click and paste it into the album name field. For security reasons, I'll set the privacy fields to friends only. To officially create the album, I'll click on the create album button. Now that we have a photo album, it's time to add some pictures to it. To do so, I'll click on the Browse button. When the dialog window pops up, I'll navigate to the picture I want to upload. When I find it, I'll select the picture and then click on the Open button. I'll have to check the checkbox confirming that I have the right to upload this photo. After I do that, I'll click on the Upload Photos button to actually upload the photo. In just a moment, my photo will have uploaded. Notice once the upload is complete, you can see the photo on the right hand side. In case you're wondering, this is a picture of me. At this point, let's navigate back to Candace's profile page. Notice a story of her uploading the picture of me appears on her wall. Her friends will receive this notification as well in their news feeds. If I click on the picture, I will navigate to a page where I can not only view the photo, but also comment on it as well. If we scroll down on the browser a little ways, you'll notice a new section called Photos. The Photos box appears on your profile as soon as you create your first photo album. If your friends have created photo albums, then they will have this box as well on their pages. You can view a photo album by clicking on it. To view a list of all photo albums, click on the See All link. Next, let's discuss how to tag someone in a photo. The neat thing about tagging is that when a friend tags you in a photo, that photo automatically gets added to your photo album. To get started, let's scroll back up to the top and navigate over to the Photos tab. 
Let's click on the album that has my picture on it. The page we are looking at is a thumbnailed view of all the photos in this album. The reason it looks so unimpressive is because there is only one photo in this album. However, this view is extremely useful when there are many photos in an album. Moving on, let's click on the photo of me once more. The page that opens up is, displays a larger view of the photo. From here, we can leave comments, set the photo as the main profile picture, and, you guessed it, tag the photo. To tag the photo, click on the Tag This Photo button. Notice the mouse pointer changes to a cross when you are in tag mode, and a square box appears when you click on the photo. This box is known as the tag box or tag region. You can click anywhere on the picture to tag someone, but it's generally best practice to tag the head. Once I've positioned the tag where I want it, I'll choose my name, Paromatic, from the pop-up window. You could type in a name in the given text box. However, if you want the photo to appear in your friend's photo album, you have to indicate this to Facebook by checking the checkbox next to the appropriate friend. Only your friends are listed in the checkbox list. Notice when I click on my name, the yellow label changes to indicate that the tag has been saved. Notice as well the label underneath the picture indicating who is in the photo. If we hover over my name, Notice the tag box appears to show you where I was tagged. This is helpful in photos where there are many people. Since I am done tagging, I'll click on the Done Tagging button. Notice if I hover my mouse over the tag region on the photo, my name appears. At this point, let's navigate back over to Candace's profile by clicking on the Profile button.